is heading to the proud Yolngu community in Yakala, world famous for its music and culture. I'm heading off the beaten track to go meet with a group of rangers that are on an isolated beach. They say will astonish me, but for all the wrong reasons. That looking at all of this rubbish, you would expect to look up and see skyscrapers, like you're on the Gold Coast or in Hong Kong, but we're actually on one of the most remote stretches of coastline in the world. It's unbelievable. Most of the rubbish comes from Indonesia, one of the biggest consumers of plastics in the world. Access to clean up these isolated beaches is limited and difficult, and the scale of the problem, daunting. So how much rubbish is washing up on these beaches? One ton per kilometre per year. Wow. In coastal areas. All along this coastline? Yep. So what's washing up? Is it nets? Nets. Net. Gold net, rubbish, chemicals. This beach was beautiful. It's a sad thing. Mandika Marika is a Yongnu elder and a former ranger. Back in the day when I was growing up, my mother and my dad and granddad took us through here. All the beach was white, nice and white. We have song lines for everything. The incoming tide, the turtle out there, and the dolphins, we have song lines for that, but we don't have the song lines for the net here. Nets and the plastics. They can keep their plastic and the net. Beach cleanups are Herculean, and only one of the many challenges rangers face 